16, you're beautiful in your mind. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, once again, we are the Reminiscence, and this year is our 50th year as a rock and roll band, so we're celebrating that. And if you haven't seen us before, we do oldies music, we do some country music. And uh, as again, I'm speeding things up here because we're going to go to about five of them because we're running behind right now. But I am going to feature my gentleman friend to the left. His name is Tom Yates, and he did this song last night for the very first time, and uh, a terrific song. And he's doing it for right now for a group called the Classics Four. It's called Spooky. Uh, two, three. I need y'all clap your hands. In the cool line of evening, everything is getting kind of groovy. I call you up and ask you, would you like to go with me to see a movie? First you say no, you've got some plans for the night And then you stop and say, baby, all right Love is kind of crazy with a spooky little girl like you Keep me guessing and I never seem to know what you were thinking Whatever fella looks at you, well, it's for sure you know So, Tom Yates. Thank you. Great job there, Tom. Thank you very much. Um, a couple of years ago, we were on tour with a group, uh, an older group. They're called Mitch Ryder 
in the Detroit Wheels. Does anybody remember Mitch Ryder? There you go. You remember him. Okay. <laughs> we're going to take it back with Mitch Ryder and a uh, great, great guy. We're going to do a, uh, it's called uh, Devil with the Blue Dress. And you, well, hey, there's plenty of room to dance, so help yourself. Here we go. Mitch Ryder. What you're looking at is a pair of Thomas Jolie safety liners, state-of-the-art school buses that rely completely on electricity. The town has had them for roughly a year now, but they've only been connected for about a week. Transportation Director Steve Angelo says it aligns with Arlington's goal of eliminating Arlington's greenhouse gas emissions, pollutants, that cause climate change. Yeah, these are replacing diesel buses. So the town of Arlington has made a commitment to be fully electric by 2035. This is a step in that direction. So every vehicle that we uh, purchase going forward should be an electric vehicle. Steve Angelo says that the engines in these buses peak at 295 horsepower. The buses have a range of about 130 miles between charges, which of course will handle everyday run-of-the-mill bus routes. It takes about four hours to charge the batteries, and that's if the batteries are completely drained. 
And as far as emissions are concerned, between these two buses, zero. Angelo says he's looking to work with neighboring school districts when the school buses are needed for longer journeys, like school field trips. We're trying to now establish some uh, relationships with other districts. So if we do have to go out to Beverly or if we're going to Concord Carlisle, that we can plug into their, their facilities as well and we'll allow that to happen here. So we're trying to develop some reciprocity. So hopefully as this catches on, we'll have relationships throughout and we'll take these further. They'll be, they'll be used for further distances. One advantage to these buses is that they are more student friendly in more ways than one. They do the job, they transport the kids, they're quieter. Uh, the research shows that we have some autistic children, children that have special needs. These buses are more conducive to their transportation. They don't get wound up, there's no triggers by sound. Uh, it's a much quieter ride. Angelo says you can bet that in the future you will be hearing less of this. and seeing more of this. If you want to take a closer look at these buses, at least one will be on display at Jason Street and Mass Ave on Town Day, September the 23rd. Take a look, these are state-of-the-art buses. <laughs>
Um, and for the most part, it's all local, which is great. Um, and so, yeah, it's, it's just a special day, you know, so. Um, well, that's basically all the questions we have. Uh, thank you so much. Have a great day. All right. Um, and yeah, all right, that's ACMI. Uh, hi, I'm Francis. Um, I'm reporting for ACMI. Can you tell us who you are and what your organization is? Uh, I'm Stella, Arlington Ultimate Club. Okay. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Um, and then what do you guys do? Like, what's your mission? Um, spreading Ultimate through the community. And <laughs> um, just, like, giving more opportunities for people who want to play Ultimate, get into sport. It's a great community. Yeah. Nice. Uh, if you have, if you know, that's, you know, that's great. Um, do you know where you're located? Um, mostly AHS, but people from other schools do it too. We have a few people like from private schools or like Minuteman who do it also because it's technically a club, so a lot of people can join. Um, and then how do people find out about you? Is there like a website or? We have a website. We have an Instagram. Um, Usually a town day booth, club day at AHS, people wearing our merch, which I should be wearing right now. Just a lot of things. Right. Um, and then what do you love about town day? Town day? <laughs> um, I don't know. You just get to come. It's like, it's like a fair. You just get to come here and like see so many things that you haven't seen before. And video. like, yeah, yeah. You just get to hang out with your friends. Like I'm here with Abby. I'll probably see some of my other friends later. Do sort of whatever you want in the middle of town with a lot of people. Just pass people that you know and wave, and it's really fun. Um, well, thank you so much. That's kind of all the questions we have. Um, have a good day. That's all for ACMI, guys. My name is Francis. I'm reporting for ACMI. Can you tell us who you are, what your organization is, and what your mission is? Uh, sure. My name is Stuart Ikeda. I'm the co-chair of the Arlington Commission for Arts and Culture. We're a town-wide umbrella committee uh, that collects all of the public arts activities in town, um, including Arlington Public Art, um, the festivals and programs, and the, uh, the local uh, grant council, which provides uh, funding for artists and for arts organizations. The, uh, we participate in the Public uh, Poet Laureate Committee, and then uh, we also manage the cultural district here in town. All right, well, that sounds awesome. Uh, can you say, I think you just said what your mission is. Um, can you tell us where you're located? Uh, we're a town-wide commission, so we don't have one physical space. Uh, we have the 13 uh, volunteer commissioners. We have several subcommittees and some liaisons to the town. Uh, we do work closely with the Department of uh, Planning and Community Development, so we do have some space in Town Hall right next to us. Yep. Uh, really, the best way is to sign up for um, artsarlington.org. Uh, you can see our logo right here behind us. Um, that is a free town website with the cultural calendar. Um, we do listings of uh, all different cultural assets throughout the town. We have a listing of artists. We have uh, opportunities, funding and exhibition opportunities for artists and arts organizations. Um, we have a, a, a town-wide calendar of all the cool arts and culture events that are happening through town. We also have a newsletter, Arts Arlington newsletter. Uh, we encourage everyone to sign up for. All of our resources are free for anyone who'd like to use them. That sounds awesome. Um, quick question: Have you like? Do you do any of the art that's like maybe displayed there or at your booth? So the commission um, does sponsor a great deal of public art throughout town, um, from large or small. We've published uh, or we've promoted projects such as the new uh, Remembrance of Climate Futures project in partnership with many of the. Um, the interns from Arlington High School. Uh, that's a public art um, installation to call attention to the effects of climate change you'll see throughout town. Uh, we've public, we've uh, promoted arts projects on the Minuteman bike path, um, the painted uh, utility boxes you've seen around town are ours, uh, the youth banners that hang here in the spring. Um, so we have, we have beginning artists, student artists, very established internationally exhibited artists that we support here. 
um, and we have a live arts series. If you've seen some of the busking uh, concerts around town and Broadway Plaza and elsewhere, we support those kinds of programs. So it's a really wide range of programming that we do support. All of it is uh, free and accessible to the public, though. It's not ticketed. Um, and lastly, what do you love about Town Day? Uh, the sheer diversity and variety of people who come here get to know about our town. We're really passionate about what we do here, uh, especially in the arts and culture in our town. We really want to show off the great talent that's here in our town. So when visitors come from far and wide and get to know about the talent and the great assets and the restaurants and the businesses and the organizations, the great or architecture, the history, that's what's really exciting about Town Day. All right. Well, that's all the questions I have. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Great. And artsarlington.org. All right, artsarlington.org. That's all for ACMI. Hi guys, my name is Leonard Poole and I am reporting right now for ACMI. We are here for one of the biggest events I would love to say in history. I am here with a local event right now and I'm super excited and let's see what's going on. Hi, welcome. And can you tell me a little bit about what's going on today? Yes, I'm Lydia Koenig Scher. I'm the Commissioner of the Arlington Commission of Arts and Culture and today's standing. So uh, this is our second, second annual and plein air painting competition mm -hmm. and so we have artists from all areas to compete to get uh, three prizes as the first and second prize uh, 500 and 250 and it's a hundred dollar gift certificate for the arlington votes prize so from two to three all of the artists who are now painting around there will be exhibiting it on the 10th there will be two jurors selecting the winner for the first and second prize and there's a little box over there where Arlington is going to vote for their favorite. So I'm very excited because even though it's cloudy and mm -hmm. it may rain and we may have to puddle in the tent, I'm excited because it is a really, there's no other event nearby that does, that puts artists in uh, painting outdoors, which is a wonderful thing to do in the spring, summer, and winter. So we do this a second and we'll mm -hmm. do it again. So is there anything else that you'd like to know? Yeah, absolutely. So I actually, we have an artist right behind us right now. Super excited about that. Could you tell me, I guess, how the, how you chose the artist? What is the selection process? How many artists did you say you have today? We have eight artists today mm -hmm. from a pool of 18 applicants. Okay. Uh, we want to keep the level of artists very high. Mm -hmm. So the people selected today are really, really good. They're all professional artists, they all paint and clean air. And so it is important that uh, that this has a, that kind of a quality. Uh, my job as a commissioner is to promote artists, to really be the artist advocate in the town. So it is important that, that people come and say, oh my, I right. really have really good artists. So uh, it was something that I conceived about before the pandemic. As uh, obviously, it took a little longer, okay? <laughs> But last year we had a really successful event. We had 12 artists out of a pool of 20 applicants. That really good too. So this is something that I just really, the Commission of Arts and Culture really, really has made a mark in town. We have murals coming out, we have dance uh, events, we have live arts programs in the spring. Uh, this, and it's so much going on. We, we cooperate with other artists, we cooperate with the school, and with other institutions, so um, that's about it. It is it, it's something that I, that I hope to continue to do. Awesome. My last question for you today is: Could you tell me what you expect um, for the future? Any like big plans or events or anything coming up? I hope they will be bigger and better, mm -hmm. and so that I will have more sites. You know, uh, I just hope to be a very something that people in this area and surrounding look forward to. That's my big plan for the day. So. It's going to happen again next year, about any crazy circumstances. Uh, so that the big plan is that we we want the arts commission to really uh, help the public understand the importance of the arts, especially in times that we went through the pandemic. If it wasn't for the arts and crafts and mm -hmm. culture and all that stuff, people would have really, really languished. And in, in, instead, we really still created programs to serve the community. So we didn't just like that, which we met uh, online like everybody else. Zoom was our meeting space. Uh, and we continue to do that. So we have now 
all kinds of art programs for people to, uh, to choose from, from kids. We have window painting in Arlington Heights, and that is such a successful program. We have a festival coming up. I have uh, a art and artists and market in Arlington Heights at the rest of the Mello. I have exhibits coming up, and I also am opening another exhibit site, which is at a pop factory, which is one of our um, business. We do a lot of business schools, so that's really bigger and better, only because the more they are, the happier we are. All right, well, thank you so much. You guys heard it firsthand, bigger and better, super excited, and we'll be reporting live on ACMI. See you guys next time. Can you tell us about your organization? Well, I'm um, Black Walnut Fiber Arts, and I do uh, hand dyeing with um, indigo and uh, some a variety of other modern and natural dyes, um, both. And uh, <clears throat> on pretty much entirely on various kinds of natural fibers, wool and silk, and blends of wool and silk, cotton, rayon, and linen. Um, and that's so that's what I've got here and I de the the designs and the decoration is done with various shibori techniques where you compress the fabric in a, there's a staggering number of different ways that you can make that compression happen and compress the fabric in various patterns and then dye it and when you pull it out and take it all apart and undo the binding then you have all these various patterns like this one this one's called horse's teeth because um, it kind of looks like a dental x-ray doesn't it and um, that one's called uh, kirameki which means sparkle in uh, Japanese uh, and so all these various different patterns are created by different ways of some stitching sometimes folding and clamping and sometimes tying knots and binding up with string and tying is just an amazing number of, of different ways of doing it it's very um, often associated with Japan um, although it's done all over the world there's a very strong African tradition of doing this kind of compressed resist um, especially with indigo and in, indigo is a wonderful dye to work with so I really really enjoy it so I'm out here it, it, I'm delighted that it's cool today I was at a fair a couple of weeks ago and it was so it was that weekend that was so hot oh really incredible so this is a great day I hope everyone is thinking of scarves and wrapping themselves up nice and warm and they come on by and buy something <laughs> that'd be great <laughs> Amazing. And where are you uh, located and how can people uh, find you? I'm located just um, about a half, about a mile from here um, on uh, Walnut Street in Arlington, um, just, just up the road. Uh, so I'm totally local. Uh, I have a shop on Etsy, uh, Black Walnut Fiber Arts, all one word like they do. And I have a website, also Black Walnut Fiber Arts. Um, named for a black walnut tree that fell over a couple of years ago which is sort of sad but um, I actually do do some dyeing with um, walnut hulls um, some of the browns that you see around are, are done with walnut hulls so so the the black walnut does participate <laughs> so anyway, yeah so here we are and it's it's a cool gray day it's not raining I'm delighted at least so far knocking knocking on wood and hoping it hasn't really started to rain yet so, got my fingers crossed. Amazing. And lastly, uh, what do you like about uh, Town Day? <laughs> oh, it's really, it, it, well, it's nice to have a show that's close. You know, I'm not driving all over the place. That's really, that's really fun. And it, it just really brings the whole town out. And it sounds like when I was, I mean, I kind of can't go check things out very much. I need to, to be here. But what I was reading about all the things that are planned, it sounds like there's just a lot of fun activities going on. And new, some new stuff. And Sounds sounds like a lot of fun. So I hope people have a great time. And it's it's, it's sometimes it's really hot for t t town day. So I'm really glad that it's. I just hope it doesn't rain. I just hope it doesn't rain. <laughs> so amazing. So. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.
Yeah, hi, um, my name is David Atkins. I'm the president of Arlington Children's Theater. Um, we do community theater here uh, in Arlington for kids around the Boston area, ages uh, 7 to 18, um, you know, half a dozen shows a year, as well as camps during school vacation. Um, and, you know, yeah, the mission is to get kids involved in theater, um, help them grow as people, and, yeah, have a great time while, while working on the performing arts. Nice. Uh, what shows have you guys done recently that we might know about? Yeah, so over the summer we did uh, the SpongeBob musical, which um, yeah, which was uh, you know Tony Award winning on Broadway. Um, so yeah, really uh, it was a really fun show. Um, this year we're doing uh, Thirteen the musical. We're doing Peter Pan, and next summer we're doing School of Rock. Oh, okay, that all sounds really awesome. Um, and then, do you serve anyone specifically? Um, yeah, so I'm, I mean, we we're open to all kids um, throughout the yeah throughout the Boston area. Um, I think our, our mission is just yeah to get as many kids as possible involved in in drama. All right, awesome. Uh, and then where are you guys located, and how do people find out about you? Yeah, so you can visit our website uh, ArlingtonChildrensTheater.org, and that's theater with an R E at the end, the British way. Um, and we rehearse um, right up the street here in town um, at the old High Rock Church building. Um, and most of our performances are over in Lexington um, in the brand new renovated theater at Minuteman, uh, Minuteman Tactical High School. All right, well, I was actually about to ask you for your website. Thank you. Um, and then what do you love about Arlington Town Day? I think it's just really great to see all the, the organizations out here and have a chance to talk to other groups. I know um, about half the people in our organization aren't in the booth right now because um, they're out, you know, making friends with the rest of the community. Um, and, you know, we, we meet people from other businesses who come over and see us. Um, so it's just really great to get everyone in one place. Yeah. Um, well, that's about it. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Yeah, you too. Uh, can you tell us about your organization? Sure, I'm with the Cyrus Dallin Art Museum. We're right here in the center of town in Whittemore Park. And um, we are a local art museum full of sculpture and paintings by Cyrus Dallin. Uh, can you tell us a little about who Cyrus Dallin is? Sure. Cyrus Dallin was an Arlington resident in the early 1900s. He was born out west in Utah, but came here to study art as a late teenager and stayed and raised his family here in Arlington. He's a wor world famous sculptor and Arlington is lucky to have so many of his works. Amazing, thank you. And how can people get involved or visit? Sure, um, we're always looking for volunteer tour guides. Um, you can come for a tour on Saturdays and Sundays from 12 to 4 every weekend. and. Uh, there are lots of ways to volunteer, so if you're interested, please be in touch with the museum. Our website is dallin.org. Awesome. And lastly, what do you like about Town Day? Town Day is, is sort of unique to this area, I think, um, and I really enjoy it now that I've uh, been in Arlington for a long time. You get to see everybody in the community, um, lots of great food and art, uh, crafts to buy, um, learn about other town organizations. So it's just a, a great day to be out and about. Ms. Francis, uh, I'm reporting for ACMI. Can you tell us who you are, what your organization is, and what's your mission? Hi, Francis. My name is Elizabeth Noguera, and this is the second owner. Elizabeth Janis. And we are owners of Elizabeth's Daycare and Preschool Center here in Arlington, right next to the high school. We serve nursery, infants, toddlers, preschool, and pre-K. Um, hola, nosotros somos eh, una escuela bilingüe en la ciudad de Arlington. Hemos eh, fundado esta escuela en español y muchas lenguas eh, que hablamos muchas muchas lenguas. Entonces, eh, 2006 fue el día que fundé mi escuela en la ciudad de Arlington, Massachusetts. Um, somos más conocidas por el habla hispana y la comunidad aquí en Arlington es también un poco hispana. Eh, nosotros damos eh, a los niños muchas inquietudes y ahora se lo va a decir mi hija. Okay, uh, thank you. Uh, and I think you already told us where you're located. You're near the high school, right? Um, and then, how do people find out about you? So we've been operating as a family daycare in East Arlington since 2006, and then we had a waiting list, about 27 families on the waiting list in one year. So we surpassed our waiting list, and we ended up expanding right next to the high school, as it's very central for most of the parents in Arlington. Do you want to do it? 
Crecimos con Family Day Care en el 2006, el número uno. De ahí crecimos en el 2008 con el número dos, Family Day Care. Después crecimos con el tercer Family Day Care en el 2009. Y seguimos expandiendo. Ahora en el 2018 abrimos nuestra primer location en Arlington, Elizabeth Daker Center, la nueva escuela grande que es bilingüe aquí en la ciudad de Arlington. Y también estamos expandiendo uno en la ciudad de Cambridge en español, bilingüe. So, en todo tenemos tres locaciones, dos en Arlington y una en Cambridge. También tenemos los Families Daker que son la cadena y los fundadores. Yes, I forgot to add, we are currently expanded in Cambridge by Huron. So we're also going to be local in Arlington and Cambridge. All right, and then last question, what do you guys love about Town Day? What do we love about Town Day? We get to meet all the families here in Arlington that we currently serve. We serve about 160 families currently. And so most of our families are from Arlington. And I would say maybe 15% come from Cambridge or Somerville. Bueno, el Town Day es, es eh, más que todo la fiesta de la ciudad de Arlington y nosotros como fundadoras de Elizabeth Daker eh, lo, lo agradecemos a la ciudad de Arlington por darnos esta, esta eh, oportunidad después de ellos conocernos que, ten, que la ciudad de Arlington tiene una escuela hispana aquí en este town. Entonces... Um, Estoy muy emocionada porque esta ciudad nos abrió las puertas, nos dio la oportunidad y lo queremos mucho. Tenemos viviendo ya 25 años en la ciudad de Arlington. Um, well, that's all. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, have a good day. Hi, everybody. My name is Karen, and I'm here at ACMI at, with the Arlington Fire um, Station. And um, can you tell us who you are? Uh, Firefighter Brian Carr. Okay, and um, what is your organization? Arlington Fire Department. Yeah, as you can see with the, the nice red truck here. Um, and what is your mission? Um, just to um, spread the word to the community of what we do. Um, you know, good PR, let the kids out here touch the truck, explain to them sort of what we do for the community and show them different gear and let them get on the truck. Yeah, they seem to enjoy it. Um, is, this, uh, is this your first Towns Day? This is my first town day, yeah. Okay. Like you specifically or the department? No, the department's done this for several years. If you see in the background too, they have the, um, the smoke um, van back there yeah. so the kids can get the simulation of what it's like to be in a smoke-filled environment and what to do, you know, how to get out. Yeah, I think it's like something that everybody should know but not everybody does know. So um, how can we find you? Do you guys have a, like a website? We do. Um, <laughs> Uh, you can get it. There's a link on the, the town's website. Um, we have a, um, a social media feed as well, but I'm, you know, I'm on the spot here. I don't know what it is exactly, but no, no problem. We can find it. Yeah, you can Google it, and there's um, some information on there for you. Oh, great! Well, it, um, it was nice meeting you, and uh, and thank you for your um, your assistance. All right, thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you. it. Yep. Can you tell us about your organization? Sure. This is uh, the Friends of the Robbins Library, and we support the library through fundraisers and activities and programs that we do all year long. Where are you guys located? Just in the Robbins Library? Yes. Yes. We actually support both the Robbins and the Fox Library, but we are a volunteer board, volunteer group of members, lots of members, that uh, support the library. Awesome. How can people get involved or find out more? Absolutely. We have a website. Just go just go Friends of the Robbins Library, Google it, or whatever you happen to use, and you'll find our website, and there's, a, you know, become a member right on there. You can also look at the Robbins Library website and find the Friends link there. Uh, amazing. And what do you like about Arlington Town Day? Oh, I love Town Day. The problem is this year... It's all indoors, but it's uh, a lot of fun. It's great for us. We do the book sale annually, so we always have a book sale on Town Day, and people are very familiar with it. They know that it's going to happen, and we get lots of books that are donated for it. So that's what we like especially about Town Day. Hi. Welcome, everyone. My name is Karen, and I'm reporting here at ACMI with Arlington Towns Day. And um, we're here with um, what's your organization? Uh, we're here with the Independent Publishers of New England. Oh, great. And um, how long have you been doing Towns Day, your organization? 
Uh, well, I've been doing it. This is my first year, but uh, IPNI has been coming to Arlington Town Day for how long have we been doing this? Ten years. Wow, that's a long time. Um, so, um, what's your mission? Uh, our mission is to uh, engage with the people of Arlington and uh, to tell them about our organization and just honestly to sell books. <laughs> that sounds great. Um, how can people um, find out about you? Uh, we do have a website, um, ipne.org. Uh, you can go there and find out all, out, all about uh, the things that we do, the events that we host, and the, uh, the different things that are available to both uh, authors and uh, independent publishers. Um, and so I've been told that this is your first Towns Day. Um, is there anything that you've loved so far about Towns Day? Well, I, I like that we're kind of in the middle of the street here, and they've just kind of blocked off the whole street so people can just walk up and down. This is, uh, this is the first time that I've seen something like this, but it seems to uh, definitely promote a lot of traffic. Um, and, of course, you know, I like being in Arlington, being a, a, a different town than I'm normally used to, and uh, it helps, you know, everybody's reach here. So. Yeah, Arlington seems like a quiet town, especially at night. So it's like during the day, it's, it's really busy, so it's, it's nice to see it come alive. Yeah, I, I like that everybody's come out even though it's a, a cloudy overcast day and I especially like that we're right in front of the sushi place. <laughs> Free sushi. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us. Well, thank you. My name is Brenda. I am the Chief Operating Officer for Nursing On Demand. And I'm Rula. I'm a nurse and I'm the uh, CEO of the company. We're based out of Belmont, we service Belmont and surrounding communities. We provide in-home care services whether it be live-ins for home health aides, CNAs, and nurses. We also have some nurse practitioners on our staff as well. And we are here to help out the community in anything they need, whether somebody needs medication or check-in on their parents or they just got finished up with surgery. Uh, we're here to help in any way that we can to make their time of need most comfortable. They can visit us on our website at nursing-on-demand.com. Our phone number is also 617-249-5305. We do answer the phone 24-7, so should there ever be an immediate need, we'd be able to provide that assistance. Well, the way Arlington does their town day is unbelievable. Is We did Belmont Town Day last week, and this is about 10 times bigger and better and it's, it's just so many neighbors and just seeing faces yeah. and people I haven't seen in a while. Yeah. So we both grew up in Belmont but I live in Arlington now since 1995 and uh, it's just nice seeing kids that my kids grew up with and other businesses etc. So. Hey this is Karen from um, ACMI and on Town Day in Arlington and this wonderful weather we're having. Um, can you tell us who you are and what organization you are with? Yeah, I'm Derm Whitaker. I'm the president of the Schwamm Mill Preservation Trust, which most people know as the old Schwamm Mill. Great. Um, and um, what is your mission? Uh, well, the mission of the, is to keep the mill building in good shape and to keep the machinery operating so that we can make oval picture frames, the same item that the Schwamms made by the thousands in the 19th century. when. Uh, they were a small employer in Arlington, um, and the other Schwann mills in town um, employed up to hundreds of people. Wow. Um, so is, is this your first, um, your first Towns Day? Oh, no. We've been coming to this for decades now. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, and, and what do you love about Towns Day? Um, what do you love about ta Towns Day? Uh, well, we love Town Day because obviously a lot of people who've never heard of the mill or who've heard of it but never been there have a chance to get a little bit better idea what it is and hopefully come visit us. Um, and of course, we take time during the day to walk up and down the street and see the other organizations too. It's good exercise. It's exercise. <laughs> Thank you for having us. Okay, yeah, you're welcome. Um, can you tell us about your organization? Uh, sure, so I'm Maggie Furtak and I run Paint Ceramics out of Malden, Mass. And it's, I do hand thrown pottery and I've also brought some cards today. Um, awesome, and how do people find out about you? What's your website or social media? Uh, I've got a, a very sad looking little website, but people who are, are welcome to look at it. It's paintceramics.blogspot.com. 
Um, awesome. And can you tell us about some of the techniques used in these pieces? Sure. So this is all uh, stoneware pottery. It's um, a very solid, very user-friendly kind of pottery. So earthenware is very low temperature, but it tends to chip easily. Porcelain is a very high temperature firing, um, but that means your energy costs are a lot higher. And so this is right, sits right in the middle, so it's a little more environmentally friendly. Um, you can still get a lot of really nice bright colors, and then it's very user-friendly. It goes in the dishwasher, it goes in the oven, um, it's very easy to work with. Um, and I mix all the glazes from scratch from natural ingredients. So this, for example, is a Timoku glaze. Uh, it's a, these glazes are thousands of years old, but this is my own personal version of the recipe. Um, so it's an iron-based glaze. It's iron oxide is what gives you the brown color, so basically just rust. Yeah. That's so cool. Um, and what do you like about Town Day? I like you're not from Arlington, maybe, but... Uh, I love Town Day. This is always an absolutely wonderful event, and I, I love um, all, the, all the fair food and all the, all the fun people watching, petting all the dogs, and getting to see all the other artists around. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, my name is Leonard Poole and I'm reporting for ACMI. I am here with Mike, the box office manager for Regent Theatre. Could you tell me a little bit about your organization? What's your mission? What do you, what do you guys hold purpose? Well, all, our whole purpose is to entertain. That's what we're here for. We've been here since 1916. Now, that's a pretty old theater. And like I was telling you both before the interview, you can tell we're old because we have the British spelling of theater. R-E, not E-R. So you can visit uh, www.regiontheater.com. We've got a whole list of shows coming up in the fall and the winter. Really excited. We have movies. We have live entertainment. We have magicians. We have mentalists. Practitioners of the dark arts. No, not doing many of those. But we've got the Acro Cats, right? Um, we have dog shows. We have pony shows. We have everything. So um, we're just here, uh, really uh, in the heart of Arlington, and we're excited to be part of our community and uh, to, to be here to uh, entertain. Awesome. Could you tell me a little bit about, I guess, your most memorable event maybe you guys put on, maybe a guest you guys invited? What was your favorite memory? Well, I think my favorite memory recently is uh, a series of shows that we've been doing with another local artist, Debo Ray. Um, we're in the second of four shows of her residency. She just did a classic rock showcase last night, and uh, coming uh, in October, at the end of October, she's going to do a Halloween sort of spooky spectacular. There's going to be costumes, it's going to be great. So we're really looking forward to Debo Ray in October. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. If you guys get a chance, come feel free to check out the Regent Theater, and I'll see you guys next time. Um, can you tell us about your organization? Yeah, sure. So I'm Anna Litton. I'm the director of the Robbins Library. Robbins Library serves the community of Arlington through three locations. Robbins Library here in Arlington Center, the Fox Branch Library in East Arlington, and our 24-7 location, robbinslibrary.org. What do you love about Arlington Town Day? I love the opportunity to meet people and to hear people, so many people come up to us and tell us why they love our libraries and I cannot tell you how happy that makes me. Um, there is nothing more exciting than talking to library lovers. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you so much. Have a great town day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, hi. My name is Francis. Uh, I'm reporting for ACMI. Can you tell us who you are, what your organization is, and what is your mission? Sure. My name's Beth Salzberg, and I'm a volunteer at the Arlington Teosinte Sister City Project. And Arlington and the village of Teosinte El Salvador have been sister cities since 1988. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's been over 35 years. And we're here selling crafts from Teosinte and neighbor villages, all the proceeds go back to the villages, and just letting people know about our amazing sister city. Well, that sounds awesome. Um, can you say where you're located? Uh, where Teosinte is located? or Yeah, so we're all volunteer run, so we don't actually have a physical location for our organization. Um, but we do have a website, arlingtonteosinte.org, and we love for people to look us up and get in contact. We have plenty of volunteer opportunities. And Teosinte itself is a rural, beautiful village near the border of Honduras in El Salvador, Central America. 
So I think you just said, how do people find out about you through your website? That, or you can email us at arlingtonteosinte at gmail.com. And Teosinte is T-E-O-S-I-N-T-E. -E, and that word actually means an ancestor of corn. Oh, that's cool. Um, and then what do you love about Town Day? Town Day is just a great chance for us to connect with people in town. It's really fun. And we want to remind people that we have this amazing person-to-person -person connection with the village of Teosinte. Well, that's about all the questions we have. It's a pretty short interview. But thank you so much. Have a good day. Thank you. All right. That's all for ACMI. All right. My name is Francis. Uh, I'm reporting for ACMI. Can you tell us who you are and what your organization is? Sure. I'm Rebecca Wickham, and I am from the Thompson Schools uh, parent-teacher organization. Uh, can you say what your mission is? <laughs> Our mission, <laughs> it is starting to rain, yes. Um, we try to support all of the teachers and the students at Thompson School and um, raise money to help the students go on field trips and do enrichment and um, just allow all of the students to have a great education. Um, and then where are you located and how do people find out about you? We are at the Thompson School in East Arlington and we have a website. I think it's thompsonpto.org, but I'm not entirely sure. But we this uh, today at Town Day, we are selling the Arlington Community Card where you can get discounts at local businesses. Uh, and so that costs $10 and you get discounts all year round at a bunch of local businesses. Well, that sounds awesome. And then what do you love about Town Day? Uh, I just love the energy. I love seeing lots of friends and lots of meeting lots of new people. Well, that's all we have. Also, the rain is kind of stressing us out. So uh, thank you. Have a good day. That's all for ACMI. Can you tell us about your store? I'd love to. Um, I have an eco shop. It's in East Arlington in the same block as the Capitol Movie Theater and Cabrata Bakery. Everything at the store is designed to help reduce plastic packaging, single-use plastics. Um, we have a bulk refill station where you can fill things like um, shampoo, dish soap, laundry detergent. Uh, you can just bring in your own container and keep refilling the same one. And um, we also have a variety of products that will help reduce single-use plastics or single-use items with reusable versions. Um, this is just a little sampling of what we have. So there's a lot more at the store. Amazing. Thank you so much. And um, do you guys have a website or social media? Yeah. It's um, yesplasticfree.com uh, is the website. And we're also on Instagram. Um, but yeah, the website will send you to all of the information you need. Thank you. That's great. Um, and could we ask what you like about Arlington Town Day? <laughs> um, I, I love being able to show people what we're up to. Yeah, it's awesome. Thank you so much. Have a great Town Day. <laughs>